Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Who can put into words and tell the mighty deeds of the Lord? Or who can show forth all the praise that is due him? Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied are those who observe justice, treating others fairly, and who do right and are in right standing with God at all times. Earnestly remember me, O Lord, when you favor your people. O visit me also when you deliver them and grant me your salvation. that I may see and share the welfare of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your heritage. We have sinned as did also our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt understood not nor appreciated your miracles. They did not earnestly remember the multitude of your mercies, nor imprint your loving kindness on their hearts. But they were rebellious and provoked the Lord at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, to prove the righteousness of the divine character, that he might make his power, his mighty power, known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths as through a pasture land. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the Egyptian army. And the waters covered their adversaries Not one of them was left. Then Israel believed his words, trusting and relying on them. They sang his praise. But they hastily forgot his works. They did not earnestly wait for his plans to develop regarding them. But lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted and tried to restrain God with their insistent desires in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their souls and thinned their numbers by disease and death. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the high priest, the Holy One of the Lord. Therefore the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan. And closed over the company of Abraham. And a fire broke out in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped a molten image. Thus they exchanged him 
who was their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. They traded their honor for the image of a calf. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, wonders and miracles in the land of Ham, dreadful and awful things at the Red Sea. Therefore, he said, he would destroy them. And he would have done so had not Moses his chosen one stepped into the breach before him to turn away his threatening wrath. Then they spurned and despised the pleasant and desirable land, Canaan. They believed not his word, neither trusting in, relying on, nor holding to it. But they murmured in their tents and hearkened not to the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand as if taking an oath against them that he would cause them to fall in the wilderness. Cast out their descendants among the nations and scatter them in the lands of the earth. They joined themselves also to the idol, Baal of Peor, and ate sacrifices offered to the lifeless gods. Thus they provoked the Lord to anger with their practices, and a plague broke out among them. stood up Phineas the priest and executed judgment and so the plague was stayed and that was credited to him for righteousness right doing and right standing with God to all generations forever they angered the Lord also at the waters of Meribah so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes the Lord also at the waters of Mirabah so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes for they provoked Moses spirit so that he spoke unadvisedly with his lips they did not destroy the heathen nations as the Lord commanded them but mingled themselves with the idolatrous nations and learn their ways and works. And serve their idols, which were a snare to them. Yes, they sacrificed their sons and daughters to demons. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with their blood. Thus were they defiled by their own works, and they played the harlot, and they practiced idolatry with their own deeds of idolatrous rites. 
Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred and rejected his own heritage. And he gave them into the hands of the heathen nations, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under the hands of their foes. Many times did God deliver them, but they were rebellious in their counsel and sank low through their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their distress when he heard their cry. And he earnestly remembered for their sake his covenant and relented their sentence of evil, comforting and easing himself according to the abundance of his mercy and loving and kindness when they cried out to him. He also caused Israel to find sympathy among those who had carried them away captive. Deliver us, O oh Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in praise in you. Blessed affectionately and gratefully praised be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen.